How's it going? This is Cole Rolfin. Welcome back to Hammer Ting. So last time we were working over here. Oh, looks like uh, Olma is doing it already. Hold on. I actually wanted to stop doing those because really, we will mine those two out. Oh, you're picking up a uh, pickaxe on the left there. Okay. Well, that's fine. Because yeah, the way the fluid dynamics work, I realized, you know, why dig this out and have all the water come up? Why not just create a pump that sits here and then it'll keep pumping the water out and the water will keep refilling to that elevation. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct that and we're just going to make a new one over here. They're super cheap, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I think we can just have it floating there. It's it's stuck against the wall. It's fine. That's how it's, that's how it's there. Close these things up. Don't really need to see. Uh, in terms of overall missions, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, let's see. Fall docks. Oh yeah, that's easy. 25 bacon of boar. So that one's interesting because you get that through other ones. Yeah, so there you go. There's a good example. So we get a reward um, from doing these other quests. We don't actually make it directly ourselves. So that's that's kind of neat. A little bit of uh, push and pull. But um, yeah, we really need to get those, um, uh, what was it, the research, the woodworking tools. Yeah, and we need a little bit more mountain lore. Which shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get that. Um, we do want to mine over to the grotto, because uh, we can see there's a verdant grotto over here. But I don't want to mine in such a way that uh, <laughs> we lose all the water here. Okay, so we're going to craft. Uh, let's make sure we always have, I don't know, 10. Sure. That should be fine. And that way we can make some, some bomb of ooze. That's a good healing item. I forgot to mention, it's kind of the reason why I don't uh, rush farming right away, is that the dwarves can eat mushrooms. And there's lots of mushrooms around that they also restore health and restore energy. So it's it's good. I find I kind of rely on that for the first little while and then figure out what I want to do. There's also lots of research. Um, like just because you've got a farm, you can't do too much aside from make water and stuff for the first of the wall. It's not until you get, yeah, you know, like cooking and a few other things, brewing, grains, mills, then you can start making things that actually is more worthwhile than just eating mushrooms. <laughs> oh, okay, I wondered why <laughs> they kept using the pump continuously and, and I'm like, well, why is it still running? You should be done. Um, for whatever reason, maintain in the mountain home is not, uh, it's not counting what's in here. So that's a little, that might be a bit of a bug. Um, yeah, okay, well, we'll just do that. We'll have to kind of manually turn it on and off, I guess, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, don't want to have them just do that forever. Well, that's gonna keep excavating down. We should go side to side. Oh, is this more? Yeah, okay. This is more Verdant Grotto. Okay, well, this may be an easier way to break into it. I don't know if it's the same. Well, yeah, it's probably the same one. It's pretty close there. But, uh, yeah, finding it this way will be easier than trying to go around this water right now. So that's good. Okay, there's just a small little cave. Not too much there. Also getting a few more uh, dwellings set up because I do want to get more uh, more dwarves. And one thing I want to do, we're going to start selling off some of these pillars. And yeah, because they're, they're really good bang for your buck. Let's take a look. How much are dwarves? Oh wow, you're really inexpensive. Enough coins for, for this guy. But our and a Neo. Okay, Arcanist. I did wish it kind of sorted based on their their best skills, so you can kind of figure that out. A little easier. Explore farmer, okay. 
Taylor is good. Whitesmith. You're hideous, but brave of heart. And Aeneo is bullied youngling. And, but has Midas touch. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, at three... three so we could get both of you. Because having an Arcanist and Metallurgist would be good. But yeah, Farmer, Explorer, Whitesmith, Taylor, that's all good. And you guys will level up as we go. So yeah, let's let's hire. I don't mind that you're hideous. Welcome here. Come on in. And you won't get bullied here. Do we have a... Yeah, we do. Good. Um, oh, do we don't quite have enough. Okay, hold on one moment. Hold on just one moment. We should have a few more of these. And we can sell them off. Actually, we should probably do this from the ledger. There we go. And just um, sell them all. There we go. Cool. And once someone brings it over here, they get automatically sold. And there we are. Oh, and someone's already... Play oh, okay. Nope. Uh, new guy here. Ooh, really good arcanist. Huh. Okay. I do think... Yeah, we'll hire you. Come on. I said we were going to. Let's just do this. And we can get you guys dwellings right away. There you go. And... You know, there is... Just one more moment. We'll have this thing done. I guess this means we should make a few more tools. And I guess we... We should have an extra pickaxe. Or did we sell it by accident? Oh, maybe I did. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Oh well, whatever. Okay, we've almost got down here. Let's just keep going down a little bit further and see what's here. Oh, and we got enough mountain lore. Good. Let's get woodworking tools because that also gives us curved handle, which is good for some tools and not for others. It's a uh, the whole tool and metal system in the game is actually quite complex. It's not just a matter of oh. Iron's better than copper. Switch everything over to be iron tools. Uh, that might not be a great example because iron does does typically do better than copper in most things. But but just because it's a higher rarity metal. Oh, we got a whole bunch of these guys here. Hold on. Let's bring everyone over. Come on, guys and girls. Um, but yeah. So as they're as they're defending the uh, mountain home um, yeah it's not quite as simple because there's different each of the metals have different properties and each of the tools are looking for different properties so it's not it's not just a simple matter of this this metal is better it's you know some tools you want it to be you want the tool to be tool to be heavier it works better or you want it to be lighter or you want it to be uh, more durable or softer or things like that so it's actually quite complex which is neat I, I really appreciate that sometimes it just uh, when it gets too simple it's you know gets easy I guess you could say let's have someone come down here and explore oh I guess we gotta do that last one okay not seeing anything on the walls oh Oh, there's some emeralds over here. Oh, okay. Oh, and we've got myconoids here. No. Wait, where are you going, buddy? No, I don't... Oh, hey, hey, hey. Leave them alone. Come on over here. Don't be... Don't aggress them, please. We don't have any good tools. Okay. Just one at a time is fine. Don't aggress all of them, please. <laughs> We just have our crappy copper tool. No, guys, guys. Let's see, can I get all of you guys just to come back up here for a moment, could you? Please just leave them alone. We'll we'll deal with them in a little bit, but right now um, I'd rather get better tools before we do something silly, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so now they go with the little diligent Thing. They'll kind of do that for a little bit. What I'm hoping is... Oh, they're going to come after us? 
Okay. Well, that guy's coming after us. I don't think the rest of them will. Okay. Yep. Took care of him. Did you guys, where are you guys going? Why are you going over here? Huh. Some silver up there. Um. Okay. Morale is low. Fino. Well, then why are you, why are you charging off into battle? Um, you know, can I get you to come over here? Just, just, I don't know. <laughs> Have someone else go over there then. How about that? There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye on you guys. Sometimes the dwarves are a little silly. Where are you going? There must be something over here these guys really want. And it can't just be a fight. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm just going to keep an eye on you. Because now it's a three-on-one, and you're kind of getting beaten up. Okay, you got one. Now you gotta run away. Okay, I am gonna have everyone attack this one. See if we can kind of wipe these guys out. But yeah, this is a lair. <laughs> this is what a lair is. And... Yeah, so they spawn enemies. They actually drop resources. They're dropping mystery meat, but some of the other ones drop uh, better things. Oh, Omens of War, okay. But, yeah, okay, so without any more enemies over here, what do you guys want? Why are you coming over here? You really want a mushroom. <laughs> oh, dear. You guys just really wanted some mushrooms. Yeah, well, that may be a good reason. Oh, some gold here. Nice. Yeah, that may be a good reason to uh, uh, get some food for you guys. So gold is a good example of a metal that may not seem like it's that useful, but with a few things, it's actually really good. Like, uh, if you're making a mid-level hauling bag or a ball peen hammer. Actually, for a ball peen hammer, from what I understand, gold is the best material to use. So yeah, so that's neat. It's not just, oh, gold's a soft metal, it's useless. Just pass by. You know, could you not just stand there? <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's deal with this overworld crisis. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Here, let's just do a bunch of them. No reason not to. And, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get that. Oops, some thieves are high. That's good. Five wooden axes and two. Okay, so we need seven total, but we can do that now, so let's let's queue a few of these things up. Alright, yeah, and even things like the handles are... Um, some things prefer to be made out of a curved handle, some of them prefer to be out of a straight handle. So it's, it's that kind of complexity that I appreciate in a game. Almost forgot. You know, there you go. And you get a bedroom too. Oh, there's actually... Oh, that's exciting. I didn't see this. There's a rat grotto or lair over here. Wonderful. We are going to have to deal with some of these pretty quickly. Um, in terms of weapons, first kind of tier is spear making. Oh, we actually we have enough to do this. I would like to get the blade forging because then you just get to much better better weapons. Um, still want to get advanced crafting. We're advanced casting. We're so close. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Try not to bug them. <laughs> Set up some mining over on that side and over here. Oh, it looks like they've already got to it. Oh, there's some water up here. Interesting. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep mining here and heading out in each direction because we can find other biomes to the sides as well not just underneath us i mean there's there's tons underneath us but yeah there's there might be some good stuff to the sides and also makes sense to send down exploratory shafts over there as well at some point advanced casting and you know we do oh that's right we do get the better uh, heavy pickaxe head and the foundry so the foundry is awesome. 
There we go. Look at that. It's huge. And... Okay. Let's think in here. Is there enough room? There's not really going to be enough room for um, storage right beside it. So we'll probably have to put storage just on the other side of the... Um, what will be the elevator. Okay. So let's just... I guess we can... Let's center it in between here. There we go. Now, this does... Does this... Yeah, this does require mortar. So, we haven't found any skelly bobs yet. So, we don't have that. We don't have access to bones, so we can't make mortar yet. But that's okay. We will get there. I love watching the dwarves work away and just mine their way through. This is awesome. Little honeycomb effect of how they uh, save little spots for them to stand on and then mine them out. And yep, yeah. yeah, lots of fun. <laughs> All right, I may not set up too many more jobs for a little while because I haven't got this iron yet, and I want to get that done. Have been getting a little bit more trade lore, and I think that's going to be enough for blade forging. Oh, we need spear making first. Okay, that's fine. Just wondering, is there anything else we should get? Probably cooking eventually. What do we need for machinery? Because that's where we get elevators. Okay, we got everything we need. We would just need 25 mountain more. Okay, well let's get spear making. And then hopefully we can get blade forging in a moment. And we can kind of just jump ahead a tier or two of equipment. Dwarves, we're under attack. Kill the slime. Oh wow. Good. <laughs> that went pretty quick. May set up... Um, where are we here? Brick door temporarily. Yeah, I think we'll put one there. I'll put one on probably on this side. Where are we here? Brick door. That should prevent enemies from getting through. They'll, they'll attack the door, but these things have tons and tons of hit points, so they'll kind of get uh, stuck on them as opposed to start meandering through our base and... Uh, Potentially icing, isolating some of our guys, things like that. We don't really need the foundry right now, in a way. Uh, we need it for later, for higher level, higher level metals and stuff. Mithril! There's some Mithril over here, awesome! Uh, Odell is running around being a little silly. But, um, yeah. Okay, well that's, that's good. Just a small deposit, it looks like, but that's fine. That is completely fine. Get lots of mountain lore. Awesome. Oh, okay, we're going over here now. Good. Yeah, let's get this uh, knocked away so that we can uh, go up here easily. Just figured it's it's probably going to be easier to navigate through this. I mean, the water doesn't seem to slow them down too much, so that's fine. The nice thing about the water is we can actually... Well, if we punched a hole through here... That would connect up. Oh, you're getting that iron or that copper. Okay. Omens of war. All right. Let's see what is needed. So far, we've been pretty good. Oh wow. Okay. Easy. No problem at all. Thirty and fifteen. Let's see what we can get. I guess blade forging. And we are gonna need cooking. I sound like, oh, we need cooking, but no, it's it's good. Oh, complex stone masonry. That's how we get mortar and or quarry. Yeah, let's get cooking. We should just do that. We are going to need it, and people... We can create food that, uh, well, beer and, and other things that uh, will help improve people's mood. Uh, so we don't have to rely on mushrooms for morale. <laughs> So, I set up a mining job. We're going to connect this. We're going to basically drain this into our reservoir that we've got here. And that means... Oh, look at that! A sacred well! Oh, that's awesome. That's a that's a great find. It's not terribly far away. It's pretty close all in all. Good. Yeah, you can get um, sacred water, which restores a ton of health. It's basically like a bomb of ooze, only it's just just water. Yeah, so it requires 75 supply, and how much supply is here? A thousand. So, 
Yeah, that's cool. We should claim that. But oh, there's some some darkness that we couldn't mine through. So there we go. Yeah, I think we'll connect this up, and then <laughs> this reservoir is going to be kind of our way to get to the uh, east of the map, I guess. Oh, better not forget that. And did we get another weapon? Victory. We did! Up top there. Good. Okay, let's give it to... Who doesn't have a good one? Oh, okay, you're a... You know, you are a good mercenary, so there you are. Okay, well, I finally made up my mind. We're going to set up some farms over here and cookhouse right above it. That shall be the plan. I want to get this mined out so we can put the uh, cookhouse in here, right above it. And we'll probably have a brewery over on the other side and kind of have the um, processing above and then the farms below and kind of have the farms on this side of the... Uh, on the side of the fortress. Yeah. So, haven't set up any more exploration jobs because, yeah, need... <laughs> We need to get this iron, guys. I don't know why they're not getting to it, but uh, they're not. Doing other jobs. Is it not accessible? It should be accessible. Alright, maybe it's not. There? Is it now accessible, guys? Will someone come and do this, please? You guys running around doing that? No? Okay. <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I'm not sure what they're doing. We did set up things like metal sheets and iron ingots, because we're going to need those. Um, you know, for the foundry and stuff. As well, set up support beams in here. I do want to get heavy pickaxe and a few other tools. Just want this iron to make it with. So, guys, can we get that done? Uh, maybe if we just set up the cookhouse, that'll force them to kind of like, hey, we should, we should mine that iron. <laughs> you know? Come on, guys. Let's do this. Perfect. All right. Just setting up this. I just wanted to make sure that the spacing was right. I was a little bit worried. Uh, if you're new to the game, the small stone bridge is... Um, it, it's basically decorative. It, it's solid. The small stone walk bridge, which looks basically the same, but its unique thing is it allows people to go in behind it. So you can see there's a bit of a gap away from the wall there. So, things like stairs can go past it, elevators can go through it, and that's what its purpose is. It may look a little funny, that support is kind of not being held up by anything, but that's fine. It's, it, dwarven engineering is amazing. Don't, don't worry about it, it's fine. So we're just gonna move this across here. Oop. Ah yes, we can make things. We made the cookhouse good. <laughs> And now that we've got that, there's a little bit of iron up here. Can we not reach it, guys? Man. There. Do that, we should be able to reach it. But this is what I mean about um, making it look more like a nice dwarven fortress. All the runes, dwarven faces on it, very, very nice. Okay, let's get this deconstructed. Oop. There we go. And there we go. Did someone get that? Can someone just tap tap? Done? Quickly? Aww. <laughs> okay, fine guys. Took you guys so long to get that done there. We'll, we'll make up another one there. Okay. Anyway, so for the cookhouse, morale is super low. What is best for restoring morale? Looks like lichen soup. Yep. So we need lichen, water, and fuel. Let's make, uh, let's make ten of these. There we go. Let's do that, and everyone can partake. It'll be delicious. I forgot, we actually need a ladle in order to, uh, cook things. So we're making one up, and then we'll figure out who shall be our cook. And we'll be all happy about it. So yeah, so... There's lichen... Well, not cabbage. There's... It'll be around. They've probably dug it up and it's just sitting around. So interestingly, water restores morale. And sacred water... Oops. Restores health. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how that works, I guess. Um, 
yeah, so we can just do that for now. We can also farm water, but um, we're making these sugar beets and people are snacking on those. So that's fine. Yeah, good stuff. All right, we're going to leave it here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.